All right, so we got our little 36 volt drill bit, which is only 22 volts, and we got one of those little look like a large swab. I've got regular grease in here, and I've got our Marvel Mystery Oil. So we pour this in here. I don't know how much it'll take. I don't do this very often. And we're going to mix it up. And thin it out a little bit more. Yeah, it's thinning out some. A little more of that in there. There's probably a few ounces in there total. That's going to be okay. So take this. Put back on our grease head here. This stuff gets quite messy because it's no longer thick grease. So it's going to ooze out the back. So we do definitely have to watch ourselves. some more paper towels and we'll meet you out at the truck so my problem is That thing doesn't always go back into gear. But it is, you can see how slow it is. Let's see, maybe uh, see if I can get it to purge a little bit. moved Let's see if that's sometimes you can feel the spring pop oh yeah Let's start coming out now so I'm gonna get some of that thicker grease get 
stuff it in my rag. It's hard to, I think the high today was 18. It's old, thicker grease. Some coming out of there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me try and turn the camera monitor around here. It's coming in right there. I'll flip the idler up so it'll get loud. slides here but during cold temperatures I like to run 530 oil along these turn the idler back up but I, I'll just let it roll Take a ride. So it kind of smooths that out, smushes it. There's poppers. What you doing, popper? You wanna come check my work? Come on. What are you doing, girl? Anyway, I'm checking tires. Let's look to see if there's no problems. These are pretty new. Check to make sure that it doesn't look like anything's really broke. I do a pre trip as well. Hey, come on, girl. This goes faster with the idler on. Hopefully that'll get us where we need to go for now. All right, so the way that winch works, oh, and I'll show you this other piece too. goes like this so that piece you saw me pulling on um, that's what disengages and then this thing has this flat spot on it I believe and you have to turn it and there's a pin right there and the the pin goes through there and when it's turned about like this, the pin is similar to like this here. And as you pull it out, it locks open. And there's a gear that's similar to this on the inside that locks in here. But when you pull that back a ways, it allows that to turn, and that's your freewheeling. And so the way this works is this is how the pin is locked. But when it turns this way, then it's able to slide past that, just like this. And that's the that's the portion you see. However, the, the pin is broken on the inside somehow, and I haven't had a chance to pull it apart. So what I've done is you see that rig that I did on there with the springs and everything that come out of ways and then it had the little handle on it. Well the handle is actually supposed to go right here. So like I say that's kinda how that's supposed to work. But for for now it's been working. 
and what happens is this this whole unit gets a little stiff in there in the winter time and so you've got to really grease that up so that this thing will move and this thing has to turn inside here on the shift fork and uh, you got to have some grease in that as well so that's kind of a quick quickie how that works um, this is the uh, this is the motor side and then the other side is where the winch drum actually is that, that cogs into this part here and I don't have it here available to show you but I, it's it looks identical to this and it's a little bit different but that's all that, that is turning inside there is is this portion when this wears out inside here it'll cause that uh, winch to catch or to slip but that's all there is to that this is one that we dug off the shelf and had been there for years you can see it's got rust all over it I probably wouldn't use that unless I cleaned it up real good or sandblasted it but that's how that all works probably could put a cotter key or something in there or a piece of band wire alright so there's a little maintenance for the tow truck and we'll give you a thumbs up